Hello, good morning. Just a little over, a little after six o'clock in the morning here in the Philippines. And uh, my talk for the day goes to the suggestion that many of you guys do send quite a bit of money back to your girlfriends. You come over here and you seek a, a friendship, a wife, a girlfriend, a long-term overseas foreign relationship, long-distance relationship. You maybe come and visit, spend some time with her. And when you go home, maybe to sort things out and organize your return trip, or maybe for her to come and join you in the West. There's a tendency to feel a need to continue supporting her financially. And by doing so, you maybe mistakenly send her too much money. You have to ask yourself, when the average person, and I'm talking average, the average Filipino young person from school up to 20 or 30 years of age is maybe earning three, 400 pesos a day. Now, we can all say, well, no, that's not true. Well, it is actually, because many women, for instance, will do washing. They'll spend all day washing somebody's clothes for 400 pesos. Many women will work in a market on a stall and get maybe 350. And therefore, that is the income that they take home. So every time you jump into your wallet while you're over here and grab a blue one, a thousand pesos, you've got two and a half days, maybe three days salary there in, in your hand. And you just spent it on a very nice meal in a restaurant. You didn't choose to go maybe where she might go before she met you, which is home with a bag of rice, a few bits of dried fish, or maybe some local vegetables given to her by her friends. What you've done by meeting her and forming a relationship with her, you've stepped up in the world in the sense that she's followed you up there and therefore she's becoming or has become accustomed for the period of time that you were with her to the increase in money flow into her life. Yes, her parents know about that too, you can guarantee. They will see the new clothes you bought her because you just thought she deserved a nice outfit or two or three some nice running shoes, a new phone. All the things that naturally you want to give to your new bride-to-be. Somebody who you feel you need to bestow with a nice piece of jewelry. Just remember, pawn shop's not that far away if she gets short of cash. She will even sell the clothes you bought if it didn't work out, because she might need that money to eat that day, or maybe buy some milk powder for her little baby that she's unfortunately acquired through a, a night of lust with a local. And by your generosity and your feeling of moral I suppose generosity as well. She has become dependent upon that money. So as soon as you start to raise it, or you stop it altogether, major things will happen in her life. You go home, she will tell everyone how you've traveled off into the dark by the big aeroplane. But she'll be back, you'll be back. And so 
She hides her disappointment or her regret that you've left by living in a bubble. She will tell all her friends how you ring her every day. She will tell her parents how he sent some money to help you, Mum and Dad, and also money for me to pay my rent. My rent? Yeah. You probably bought her or got hold of her a rental property so that she can feel comfortable away from the family awaiting your return. But of course if it doesn't work out something goes drastically wrong either from her point of view or from his then clearly tears await all of you because it is hard to plan something and it will not work out. And I can assure you many a foreigner will go through that situation and discover that what they thought was the perfect match isn't always going to work. But what you must also remember is you have to think more in kind the way she thinks. If you're using your own way of thinking to judge her then you're making a big mistake because she's not judging you she's listening to you through her ears and her understanding of how life should be so if something bothers you tell her about it something really gets up your nose Tell her about it too, because that's called communication. And at the beginning, it's very important. And through the normal relationship period, we all need to remember, it's how she perceives things to be, how you present them to her, how you understand her. It is about her. So try and focus on someone, and it's a bit like talking to your grandchild in many ways, because it's not like talking to an adult woman here in the West. Here in the Philippines, of course, whoops, we're in the wrong place. Here in the Philippines, you really do need to understand your woman and understand that she needs to Be aware of what your plans are. Don't flower it with platitudes and I'll be back when you don't plan to be back. Make sure that what you say is what you mean. So she's not left with any false impression of what she's got. So, a bit of a mismatch today, but that's my thought for the day. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And we'll catch you later. Bye now.